Dear students, from today we are going to start a new ribbon known as Review Ribbon in Microsoft Word. And today we will be focusing on proofing group available in Review Ribbon. So today we will be uh, discussing the topics of spelling and grammar, define, thesaurus, and word count. So let's start the practical. So we have the same document on which we were working previously. So let's go to the Review Ribbon. And here is the proofing ribbon available. So you can check the spellings and grammar of your uh, document. So Microsoft Word has a very innovative solution to check the grammar and spelling to some extent of your documents. So if you make very basic mistakes, so Microsoft Word can tell you that it looks that here is a mistake. So for example, if I change the uh, I, I misspell uh, the spellings of word like this one. So you can also see that there is a red line which is showing that the spelling of this word are uh, not correct. So on this document, if I click on spelling and grammar, so let's see what happens. Uh, when I click, it says that uh, there is a problem in spelling of words and these are the options. So you can select words, world or wordy. So these are the three uh, words which are more uh, uh, near to the spellings of words. So if I select, okay, I want to go with this. So now it is moving to the next thing. It is saying that EDC should have a uh, call, uh, sh should have a point or period at the end. So I said, okay, do it, do it. So you you can see that the spellings are being corrected. So such kind of things you can uh, apply uh, and it can also uh, tell you uh, to some extent if you make very uh, major mistakes in the grammar. So it can also tell you this word. Uh, then the next thing is the define. So if you are uh, connected online and if you click on any of the uh, word, for example, I say, okay, I want to get the information about module, select it. Uh, go online, click on the define, and it will show you here the meanings of define. Then the next thing is uh, thesaurus. So here uh, it can suggest you um, other ways to say uh, the same thing. So for example, if I want to say module, so let's see if I click on it, what it says. So it says uh, you can uh, uh, replace this word in your document with unit, component, element, segment, part, section. So all of these are uh, kind of synonyms, are kind of words which can be used in place of module. So thesaurus can help you if you want to uh, use the same thing again and again. So it's better to uh, use uh, different uh, uh, words in place at certain positions. However, if um, in a document, sometimes you remain, uh, you need to be remained consistent. So in that case, you should uh, follow the module, module, module are the same word throughout your document. But if you are defining or describing something, then in that situation, you can uh, select some of the other words which suits you perfectly. Uh, then there is another option uh, which can tell you the word count. So if I click on it, so it tells me that uh, this document have uh, number of pages, number of words, characters. So let's say I'm not selecting this one. So now what it says. So there are four pages because previously I have selected only one word. That that's why everything was one, one, one. Now it is telling that there are four pages. Yes. Total number of words are 1,388 characters. Uh, without space and character with, with space, paragraphs are 52 and lines are 115. And we are also including the things which are represented in text boxes, which we have learned in the next, uh, in the last module. Uh, we have also included the footnotes and endnotes. So similar thing uh, can be applied on our, this document. So let's see what it says over here. So we are in the review. And let's say we have clicked on the 
uh, counting and it says that their, their total number of pages 26, world count 9814 and all of the other information is being displayed. And if you uh, uncheck this button, so then you have seen that there is some differences because no, it's not including any text boxes, footnotes and endnotes. So that's it from today's session. We have learned about spelling, define, thesaurus and counting. So let's conclude today's module. Uh, we have learned about the review ribbon and in the review ribbon, we have covered uh, these topics, spelling and grammar, define, thesaurus and word count. So in the next modules, we will be exploring other options available in this ribbon.